As tax season approaches, some of the most common questions for my newly transitioned travel nurses are based on taxable income and deductions with their travel contract. One of the biggest reasons travel nurses make more money than staff nurses are because of the ability for travel nurse tax deductions. The most prominent travel nurse tax deductions are tax-free stipends for housing, meals and incidentals, travel reimbursements, and professional development costs. The only condition to qualify for tax-free income is that the traveler must be working in a state that is not their tax home. In order to take advantage of the travel nurse tax deductions listed above, you need to pay for and maintain a home or apartment in the declared tax home. A permanent residence and a tax home are not necessarily the same thing. A permanent residence must fulfill two of the following three qualifications in order to qualify as a tax home. Number one, does the traveler have significant income at home? Number two, does the traveler have substantial maintenance expenses like rent or utilities for the primary residence that are not duplicated when on assignment? Number three, has the individual left their historical place of lodging and work? Very rarely do travelers work at home, so most travelers fulfill qualifications two and three. However, an important note is some keep PRN work at home and are able to satisfy number one and three. The IRS requires travel nurses to have a tax home or else they pay taxes on all of their stipends and reimbursements. Now, believe it or not, there are also some drawbacks from receiving tax-free stipends, one of those being on the topic of overtime pay. So if you're considering working overtime for extra money, you should consider asking for a higher taxable income. Overtime laws stipulate that overtime pay is at least paid at time and a half of all taxable income, so a larger taxable income can help you earn more with overtime pay. Another reason surrounds loan opportunities, most commonly on a primary home mortgage. If you're applying for a mortgage or a loan, banks do not consider tax-free stipends or reimbursements in their accounting procedures. Banks will only look at your taxable income. A final reason is on the topic of Social Security. The check you get when you retire depends on the 35 years of your highest taxable income. Tax-free stipends or reimbursements are not considered for Social Security. It's important to talk with a tax and financial professional who can help you minimize your taxes along with strategies that help you achieve and maximize your other financial goals. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.